everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Buzz's Garage. Yeah, well, that's because... It's all the pushing in and out of the garage, huh? Gee! As you can see here, we're in the camshaft installing that. You can see that I lubed up all this with cam lube. The gear as well. It's just in partially right now. Got my fingers in from underneath in here, underneath these uh, openings to get the cam bearings as well. So everything's pretty covered. And I'm going to install this. I'm going to use this gear, uh, drive shaft uh, pump, uh, oil pump gear, and put it in the end of this cam. And I'll use that to hold it as I'm getting closer. But be carefully. Go one bearing at a time. Putting that in. Like that. Being careful. Trying not to bump the loads up against the bearings. And this is where you're going to have to basically now. Just rely on this pump shaft arm to get the rest of it in. Careful, it goes in a bit. And I twist it as I go in, so the gear loop is really uh, uh, the bearing loop and all that goes goes into the uh, twist into the bearings and gets coated over. Now we have the thrust plate here, and of course this thrust plate is put on. Just like that, and we will, uh, of course, lock tight these bolts, the threads on them bolts. Because I use blue lock tight. If you're only torquing these, they like 20 pounds or something like that. So we'll put this this one in first, and we'll go to the next top one. Put that in this one, and then we have a drip rail. This drip rail, okay, uh, goes on just like that. And of course, we only got one uh, bolt. This uh, right side doesn't get bolted in, so. It's just this uh, drip rail has a little hook that goes in that hole. And I fill this around a little bit. And here, just like this. And that's that. Now uh, the cam should spin. And that spins just fine. Gee! We're doing the timing gear right now. Timing this crank with this cam. Uh, the number one piston has to be at top dead center, which it is. Uh, this is a... Um, Cop cam uh, timing cover or uh, timing chain set. You can see the circle. The circle goes up on that. You have a uh, you have a square. You have a triangle. Okay, that's for setting it up uh, if you want it retarded or advanced. We're going top dead center, so that's the circle facing straight up. So that cranks at totally at top dead center. This being with the circle facing up and the circle on the cam gear facing down. And we'll place that carefully like this. We will get this uh, a little bit up there. Okay, there we go. Now, of course, we have to just tap a little bit on, on that. And that's it. Now we just to verify, it's, both circles are lined up, which they are. And that's time. We have the bolt that goes on there with this uh, fuel pump eccentric uh, piece there that, of course, gets Okay, so now what we do is, is we pull the cam out a little, as you can see. This little eccentric has a keyway there, okay? has a cup washer, and that's locked tight in. And we will thread that inside there. So this gets torqued 30 foot-pounds. All right, and that's got locked tight on there. Oil uh, plate here, the crank oil plate that goes on, just like that little splash splash guard thing there what we'll do is we'll lube this up 
with uh, oil lube. We'll lube this gear, come in here and we'll lube this stuff up. Um, Yeah, we got a visitor, all right. Bartonis Pinweed is here. So, what do you think of the what do you think of the Cuda there, Marty? It's pretty nice. Um, you know, I like the what is that candy apple red? Is that the color they call it? Yeah. Well, no, it's actually uh, called Rally Red. Oh. Yeah, the Chrysler Red. So you remember this when it was running back in the old days? Yeah, I think late I remember. 80s. I think I remember when you took. Uh, Cousin Jimmy for a ride, he got in and started riding it, and then all of a sudden he hit the gas and the seat fell backwards. Yeah, because I forgot to bolt it He's in. Like, what the heck? Oh, the seat's not bolted down. Yeah. <laughs> that could have been the end of this car right? and the end of Cousin Jimmy. Gee! So what we did here was is we uh, uh, what I did was is I taped this, um, which is about uh, half an inch. Uh, just a uh, nut I taped on the end of this pickup so what I would get was when I put this pan on okay I could push this down now and then stop and I know that that pickups gonna be approximately about a half inch from the bottom well I'm this kind of chain cover I installed it. it was pretty tricky and I didn't have enough battery power left so I couldn't take it but this harmonic balancer fits on before you tighten these bolts I got spacers for the water pump right now because these bolts got to be tightened in order for that seal to stay and then you can pop this off and then put the water pump on um, after but this harmonic balancer fits in as much as possible and it lines up your gasket the, the center of the shaft and that seal that's on there then this can be adjusted then you torque these down and that's that we have the wind tray we have the pump on now we're gonna get ready and we're gonna do the gaskets on the oil pan. Of course, we uh, just got done putting these seals on and we put silicone on the inside of everything. Now we're gonna coat on the outside and um, just make sure that this oil pan, you know, is sealed. Never rely just on the gasket material. Always use some Permatex because you'll regret it down the road if you ever have to replace anything or fix the oil leak, which is like the worst thing you can freaking possibly do. And then, of course, we will get down in here as we will squeeze it and uh, fill it, fill that gap that's in there. There's a little gap inside there to get that filled. And then, of course, uh, try to make sure nothing's too excessive uh, on the inside. So what I do is, is uh, put my finger on the inside, kind of clean it up a little bit. Yeah, this is a little, this is a little tricky here, man, because this, this, uh, Gasket is like almost got to totally squeeze in here. Gee! Wow, yeah, this is this is like wicked, man. Okay, we got them two, and now we'll get these one or two. So you got to put a lot of pressure on to, to squeeze this gasket in there. So it's really tricky, man. Uh, here, shit, man, we're having some issues going into the timing cover here on that one side. So. And of course, we got to do the uh, same thing on this side and squeeze this. So we are pushing pretty, pretty tight down on here to get this gasket to, or the bolts to want to thread in here. All right, so get these cranked down a little bit. And uh, you can see how I had to uh, finagle that in there. So it's, uh, Pretty intense, man. I didn't think it was gonna be this kind of a, this kind of big of a problem, but evidently it is. Make sure all the holes are gonna line up and everything else on here. So anyway, now we'll put the rest of these bolts in and torque these down. 15 foot pounds and it's done. Gee!